Hey, I'm Max Amana, and today we're making sweet and spicy cauliflower bites. You're probably asking yourself, what am I doing in the corner of the kitchen like this? Watch to find out. Hey, I'm Max Amana, and today we're making sweet and spicy cauliflower. Yes, cauliflower is one of my favorite vegetables, mainly because there's parts of the ingredient that are often thrown away, like these cauliflower leaves. Nothing's going to waste. We're going to incorporate everything. To get started, we need to preheat our oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I almost said Fahrenheit. We're back in the USA. Back in the USA. Take the cauliflower leaves off the cauliflower. I like doing this with my hands. Get involved. And because these ones are nice, they're closer to the cauliflower, they're a bit softer than the outer leaves. The outer leaves can be saved for a veg stock, but yeah, these softer, more pale leaves can be baked in the oven. Let's go in and start breaking off. This is a massive cauliflower. Oh my God. Did you hear that? I went. <laughs> Take out your stress on the cauliflower. You can look, oh man, this is just like insane how big that Florida is in comparison to my head, right? Close enough? Now, you could be the judge. You can go with any size you like. You want to stick with the big brain-like cauliflower this big piece right here, or you can go something smaller like this. Whatever you decide to do, it's gonna be delicious. Then you're left with the core of the cauliflower. This can certainly go in there as well. You can cut this up and bake this as well, and then you just have kind of like, yeah, chips, I guess. Bench scraper. Thanks to Tablecraft, not sponsored, but bench scraper. Gotta love these. We should do one recipe where I'm just cooking with this. I cut everything, I stir with everything. It's multi-use for everything. Stay away from everyone, get away from me. You wave people off, you can use it as a fan. As a mirror, you can kind of see yourself. <laughs> it gets the job done. I'm gonna save this for a veg stock later. Let's make our batter. So in a bowl, we're gonna add our plain white flour. You can use gluten-free powder if you so wish. Sesame seeds, a pinch of salt, black pepper, and some garlic powder. I'm gonna go a little heavy on the garlic powder. Let's whisk this now. We're gonna add some water, slowly whisking everything together to create a nice thick batter. Ooh. Making sure there's no flour streaks. You want this to be smooth. Okay. Energy. Energy. Mm -hmm. I've already lined my baking tray. Cauliflower into our batter onto a baking tray. Right? Yeah. Right. Let's go with this big boy first. Introducing, Introducing big, boy. big boy. Big boy gets covered in our batter, just like this. Right? See it? Yeah. Boom. Onto a baking tray. And just keep doing that and repeat. Now, this is that sexy montage that we normally do where whew, you see all the fun bits of making this recipe in this very moment. Now? You mean to do now. it? Should I do it now? Yeah, do it now. Mm -hmm. pew, pew, pew. Now we'll bake our cauliflower for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. So it's been 15 minutes now and our cauliflower is done. Just for the par baking, we're gonna let them cool now. Lightly crispy already, but once we add the sauce and our breadcrumbs and they'll go back in the oven, they're gonna get even crispier. So in a saucepan, I'm going to add some tamari, maple syrup, two tablespoons of sesame oil, one, two. Just eyeballing it. Rice vinegar, two tablespoons, one and two. One tablespoon of tomato puree, chili paste, Two tablespoons. You can adjust this if you'd like. If you want it to be milder, then add less. If you want it spicy, add more. Black and white sesame seeds. Finally mince our garlic. Bench scraper. Garlic it goes. This is just gonna be a flavor bomb. Ginger. Most people probably peel the ginger. Do people peel ginger here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. You can peel ginger using the back of the spoon with the curved side of the spoon right here and just peel down. 
and you could remove just the skin of the ginger. But this ginger has been washed, it's clean. I'm gonna keep the skin on and I'm gonna use about a thumb sized piece of ginger. Great. So much is going on in here. Now we're gonna bring this to a light boil and simmer. Once it starts bubbling and reduces just slightly, that's the ticket. Now we'll add our sauce to our mixing bowl here and let it cool. Uh, could have placed this in the fridge. We've let our cauliflower cool. Our sauce is finally cooled. Cauliflower into the sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. Shouldn't have worn a white shirt. You live and you learn. Covered in breadcrumbs. Onto the baking tray it goes. And we repeat. And we just keep on doing this. We just keep on dipping. Our cauliflower is coated. Now we bake for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Here we are. I'm gonna thinly slice on a diagonal some spring onions, adding a little bit of freshness, some vibrancy, some color to the dish. Now we just assemble. So this is perfect for a snack. You have friends that are coming over, a party, maybe it's a sporting event and you wanna have some table snacks. It's a great appetizer. Add some sauce. It's a bit of a naughty one. You gotta get your hands involved in this one. Some spring onions. There you have it. Sweet and spicy, crispy cauliflower bites. Mmm. Game changer. Ooh, a little bit of kick at the end. Let's eat. Drip, drip, drip. Ding, drip, drip. Do, do, do.